Hi everyone, today we'll be doing a thermic air emission experiment. Thermic emission is the flow of charged particles called thermions from a charged metal or a charged metal oxide surface called by thermal vibration energy overcoming the electrostatic force holding electrons to the surface. This experiment aims to study the thermic emission of a tungsten filament and measure the rate of thermic current at different voltages in addition to the classical space charge limited electron emission. Experimental apparatus are as follows GRT7 light with mount, flingment current, power supply to voltage, voltage DC supply, and end dot current. We will set our flingment current at 0.5 amps. We will be adjusting our voltage supply at the 10 volts respectively from 0 volts to 350 volts. Readings are to be taken from the end root current at different values of voltage ranging from 0 to 350 voltage while taking constant value of fragment current. We will be creating a table with a column of tube voltage and end root current. Tube voltage will be increasing with 10 volts as mentioned. The data table example is shown at the end of the video. We will now increase our fragment current to 0.8 amps. And following the same procedure as mentioned, increasing the voltage from 80 10 volts respectively 0 to 350 volts. Now we'll change our flingman current to 1 amps. While changing the voltage supply 80 10 volts respectively from 0 volts to 350 volts. And as well as taking readings from the node current with different values of voltage. As you are increasing the voltage, you'll see a beam of light glowing at the GRT7 vacuum tube. We will now be increasing our flingman current to 1.5. As you are increasing the flingman current, you'll notice that the GRT7 right wing mount bulb is glowing more. The pictures are available at the end of the experiment video. We will be doing the same procedure, reading to be taken from the node current with different values of voltage ranging from 0 volts to 350 volts while taking a constant value of fragment current. Make sure to keep the fragment current below 2 amps to prevent a kaboom mess. This is our data tabulated from the experiment. These are the some questions aligned from the PH204 manual book. Thank you for watching.